Hey everyone, John here, and I don't know what I'm gonna say, I don't know what I really want to say in this video, but, um, I'm sorry that there's been such large gaps between my videos, it's just because a lot, a lot has gone on in my life since I first started this channel, um, my relationship with my long-term partner, uh, that ended after five years, and that was such a messy year, but hey, it's been a year since I've been single, so hooray! Um, I moved to a new place, I've gotten more dolls, i gotten a new job, and it's just like, it's just been a whole bunch of like, ah, uh, changes, changes everywhere. But, so here I am again, and... I'm learning to be more comfortable with my appearance and be more comfortable with the way I talk. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so I guess right now, I don't know what I really want to do with my doll collecting. And I guess it's something that's something I just kind of want to talk about right now. It's, and just kind of capture that moment in time. Because right now, um, I, I don't have big hopes. Um, I don't have any projects that I really feel are long term. Um, yeah, what, what can I say to that? And yeah, boop, boop. so uh, I guess with 2016, I was really excited, that's why I kind of made a channel. I at least had things going on about it, but since since the breakup, since moving out of my ex's house, I realized I have a whole lot of shit just like piled up in my room. And that even if, even if I wasn't like having a huge collection like I do right now, I... I don't feel excited about anything new that's coming out. I thought at least the made to move line from Mattel would tide me over, but since Mattel changed all of the skin tones for so all the skin tones don't match anything from before 2017, um it just made it just made it redundant to me to buy to buy any more made to moves. And even if I did need more made to moves, I think I'm at a happy place with what I've got out on display right now, and that, yeah. Um, and I just, I don't know what I should be doing with my collection. Uh, it's just like, I mean, I know people like what I do, I know people think I'm creative, I know that they think... I'm smart, I have good ideas, but right now I'm stumped. I am really, really creatively stumped. Like, aside from finishing, like, a couple of projects that have been on my mind for a couple years now, yeah, just, I don't know. And it's just gonna be a lot of stuttering and stuff in here, because I don't know what other video program <laughs> editor I could use, but... Yeah, um, I don't have any more Holy Grail dolls, like, dolls that I've actively, actively, actively won. They're either, like, I've gotten dolls that are close enough to them that I either go, oh, okay, I love this enough that I'm not going to pay that much more money for it, or I already got the doll, and it's just, there's nothing new coming out where I, I want to go, I want to buy it, I want to create it, I want... I want it because I guess I'm in a happy pl like spot with what my collection is. Like I'm happy that I have dolls with the right skin tone now. I have dolls with the right body types. I have dolls coming in from like 50 years ago, 40, 30, like from Japan, from like Europe, like. And I look around and I'm just like, okay, like wh where do I go now with my like doll collection? You know. And, and I just feel like there's just so many things I could talk about in terms of what Mattel is doing with the Barbie line and with what the fashion doll industry has become. 
Because ever since Monster High and Ever After High has died, I feel like it has taken the entirety of the fashion doll industry with it. Like, like, psh. And Barbie right now, I don't think that she is doing so well, like, in terms of being an actual fashion doll. I feel like Mattel is taking her in places where it's not going to fit right for her because she is the wrong scale for, like, the things Mattel wants to do. And because Barbie works best as a fashion doll. And really, <laughs> really, the current fashionistas and made to moves or the career dolls or Dreamtopia dolls, none of them have really good fashion play value, I feel. Like, even though the bodies have gotten more realistic and I'm happy with the variety of it, the fashions that Mattel are providing for Barbie are not... <laughs> they're not very good. They're, they're poorly made, they're poorly tailored, they're poorly designed, and... And the only ones that look good are the ones where you can actually pinpoint real-life fashions to them. So, yeah, I just... And I feel like with the whole trying to make Barbie into a icon, into... She can be anything, but... I feel like in this kind of society right now, where we're trying to pinpoint actual characters, we're trying to put actual characteristics and actual traits into a thing, you can't have Barbie be a vague, giant concept where she could be this, she could be that, she could be anything. Because right now we need, like, I feel like our current culture is dependent on individ individualistic <laughs> um, traits on, like, really defined characters and icons. And the way Mattel is playing it is, like, they really want to have the cake and eat it too, because I think, okay, we can have the toy of the past, but we can't give her any traits, we can't give her any real flaws, we cannot give her... Anything definitive, because then that will alienate everyone else. And the fact that, like, Barbie now doesn't have as much of a defined canon, she... She can really range from, like, being, like, a three-year-old toy, for, like, in the Dreamtopia series, to, like, the pre-teen fashionista line. But you can't... I feel like you can't really have those two concepts be together for the same doll. And I feel like... I feel like that's the, that's the direction Mattel's going to take Barbie, and they're just going to drive her over a cliff. And right now, I don't see any way of that changing. In terms of the uh, other dolls, I feel like other dolls are trying too much to emulate what Monster High caught in a bottle. Like, you know, the lightning in a bottle situation with Monster High. Because every other fashion doll now, they're really stylized, they, they're not compatible with anything else, they're just a vague scale. That's the only way they can be really defined, is that they're within the same scale and they have brushable hair. And so, nothing stylistically fits together. Like, if... So I, so I have, like, I've bought Monster High dolls, I've bought all these other stylistic dolls, but nothing is compatible with each other, and so... Why do I bother pouring all my money into this if they're not going to have the same shoes, they're not going to wear the same clothes, they're not be able to wear anything? It's just, it's just like, look, I just, I have a lot of dolls. I just, I can't keep buying new dolls that don't fit into my specific aesthetics. They don't fit into clothing. They don't fit into my, like, accessories. It's just, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go with my doll collection this year. Especially since I've, I think I've gone off thrifting because I think it enabled me too much to just buy and buy and buy things. And right now I think I've hit my point where I'm like, okay, I've gotten all the things that I want for the right price. And I can't just keep taking on even more dolls from thrifting and just say, okay, I might use this for later. But I might, it's like, no, I need, I feel like I need a definitive pathway through where I want my doll collection and I don't know where what I want it where I want it to go so yeah
like looking around, I'm very happy that I've gone Grail Dolls. I'm very happy that I've finished off projects. I'm happy that I've gotten a lot more dolls than I thought I would. I just, yeah, it's just, I think, I think it can be summed up by this doll, which is the Alphaba doll uh, that Mattel made for the 15th anniversary of Wicked. Because I think, for the most part, I've all, I've loved Wicked for such a long time, and I've always been like, oh, what if Mattel made an Alphaba doll, like an actual Alphaba doll, not a Wicked Witch doll, not like... Not one that's tied into like you know some kind of Wizard of Oz adaption, but an actual Alphabet doll from Wicked. And once I got it, I'm just like, wow, this is really kind of the pinnacle of where I want my doll collection to be, because I got a mass-produced like Alphabet doll. And even though she's fine, it's just like you can really tell that right now Mattel doesn't really know where to put their budget. They don't know what collectors want nowadays, because I feel like the days where collectors just buy a doll, keep it in box, and then hopefully get an investment out of that, it's gone. It's completely gone because of the way Monster High has changed up what collectors would want in a doll. But I feel like no doll maker is really catering towards that, except for Integrity Toys, but even then, Integrity Toys is in such a higher price bracket that <laughs> that the people who just want to play with dolls and don't have to like you know put in like what half of their rent towards it you know I don't know I really really don't know where to go from here so so yeah I mean maybe I'll make more videos maybe I won't it's just like I I just I don't know what I'm talking about but please if you want to see me talk about anything else like, give me suggestions, give me ideas, maybe I'll take them on, maybe I won't, because I'll hate looking at my face, but... Yeah, if you actually want to see actual doll content from me, check out my Instagram, Tumblr, Flickr, they've just been... They've just been a whole nother kettle of fish right now, so check me out on Instagram, and hopefully I'll be back more this year. So, see ya.